On our trip out west, we stopped to see our friends Mike and Judy in Victor, Colorado. Victor is a really neat little town. It's about five miles down the road from Cripple Creek. It's got a large gold mine, a lot of old houses, and lots of really unusual people. Lots of wildlife. At any given time, you might see a bear or a mountain lion walking down Victor Avenue. There's even a family of foxes that comes by every night making their rounds looking for food scraps. Uh, you'll see what we mean when you look at the video. Historic downtown Victor, Colorado. And there is historic George Wortley. Okay, here we are in the center of downtown Victor. I'm standing in the middle of the road. Show you the downtown, the historic downtown district. Here are all the bars and strip clubs. The Fortune Club. Yeah. Here's a still for sale in one of the antique shops. Still works. We only use it after dark. If you buy it, though, they notify the ATF. Here's the uh, Victor Antique Shop and Medical Marijuana Store. We just say hempy. It's a National Hysteric District with the Visitor Center and Police Department. Here we have the historic landmark award-winning Sandlin home on Victor Avenue. There's its landmark award and there's the landmark bullet hole and there's one of the landmark homeowners himself. Oh, what's up everybody? Look at the uh, bullet hole right here. Here's Mike. A uh, neighbor across the street had a bear break into his house a couple of days ago. He started shooting at it, and uh, I think he hit it a couple times, but he also hit our house. So this is our uh, yeah. souvenir from uh, the bear break-in across the street in Victor, Colorado. And there's, there's the man that did this. Now let's hear the story of the bear from the man himself and his wife. Oh, here we go. I arrived home from work and went to bed. At 9 o'clock, I was woken up by a loud noise. I went through the back of my kitchen into the front room, and I noticed there was a bear standing there. Oh, my God! Quickly, I closed the door. I called the sheriff, 911. They tell me, Division of Wildlife's going to come up. So, they hang up. Division of Wildlife calls. We'll be there in an hour and a half. Meanwhile, you got a bear in your bear kitchen. Trap. We would like to know one thing. Is there a bear still in your living room? <laughs> Why, yes, I believe there is. About this time, the bear decides that being in my living room isn't where he wants oh, to be. So he tries to get out any way he can. Well, I hang up from Division of Wildlife. I say, Sheriff. You know, I call back the sheriff. I said, look, I'm going to protect myself and my animals. About that time, the kitchen door flies open and the Wild West happens in my own house. <laughs> So uh, I'm chasing the bear through the house with a semi-automatic 40 caliber handgun. Hmm. I hit the bear twice, the wall a few times, my house once, and my, truck once. my truck once, and your house over here once. <coughs> Ow! His house. <laughs> Ow! I said, I pointed to you, Judy. Oh, thank oh, you. Okay. Your house, Mike. Who? Somebody's house. The so anyways, estate. when I moved up here, I always wanted to put the wild back in the west. And uh, finally, I got my chance. Okay, it happened. <laughs> that is 30 seconds, and I hope that we're done filming now. Thank you. Hey, tell us about the whole concept of bear squared. Now, when you're bear, if you're shooting at a bear, that would make you bear squared. Bear-ass killer of bears. Bear squared. We're experimenting with making some meatballs. we got about two pounds of ground beef. Cooked quinoa. Cooked quinoa. Now, I can't believe I can even pronounce Judy, it. Judy, can you spell that? Q Quinona. Q. Yeah. Okay. That's our filler. That's our filler. filler. We got Italian seasoning and granulated garlic, and then we're going to beat up a couple eggs. Then we're going to see if it's edible. It's going to be good. And Great. that's probably enough there to. Salt. Don't forget the salt. Salt. Okay. Last night we actually made um, our fresh marinara. Yes. We Fresh chunked, uh, tomatoes. Chunked up the tomatoes, chunked up some onions, smashed up some garlic. And how do you oil, think that went? Italian seasoning, a little bit salt. Hey, we're, we're thinking that it might even be edible. Should I notify the Victor yeah, Fire I, Department, I, put them on hold I in want case the ER of food poisoning? I for food poisoning, yeah. We got med flight on hold. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, here's the Okay, uh, here we are. Oh, Our hippie nice. meatballs with quinoa. Mystery. Our um, oven roasted uh, pasta sauce. Put that in your mouth. And don't. <laughs> They'll never let that on the internet. That's way too scary. No, he's right there. There's Scooby. There's Scooby Fox. No, he's right there. Come here, Scooby.